of these instruments are built up using protoplasm's high temperature carbon fiber PLA. Now, what you have to do with that material in order to get that high temperature resistance is you have to anneal the part, or what that is, is heating the plastic of the part up to a high enough temperature that the plastic molecules get to settle into a better crystalline structure, and that's what gives it the high temperature resistance. So straight off the printer, you don't really have any advantage to standard PLA or standard carbon fiber PLA. So that's what this instrument is. This has not been annealed. So the parts came off the printer, built it up in the instrument. In the sunshine, it will probably deform and be useless just like that other one. But what we have here, for this instrument, the parts have been annealed. So after printing, those parts were put either in an oven or a hot water bath, and they were allowed to sit there long enough for the plastic to settle into that crystalline structure. So I'm still working through warp problems on the body. The neck and the peg backs and the other parts, those are easy enough. But the body is tricky. It has those thin walls, and as it starts to heat up, the, the walls really want to wiggle around and deform. There's a lot of deformation on this one, but you know it still works pretty well, and it certainly works well enough to stick it in the sun and see what happens. So we've got our two fiddles out in the sun. I've got my iPhone back there taking a time lapse. The annealed is on the far side, not annealed is close. It's about 80 degrees outside. The bodies of the fiddles hit a high temperature of about 130 Fahrenheit after 20 minutes or so. Here's the time lapse from that iPhone. There, right at the end, and I'm going to play it a few times here, you can see the fiddle on the left, the not annealed instrument, uh, warps in particular right at the end pin. Let's take a look at a couple stills. So here they are right after the experiment. You can see warp again right at the end pin there, and then the F hole on the base side has collapsed a bit. Um, and here, looking at them from the top, looking down on the top plate, you can see the F hole really opened up on the, the not annealed instrument. Everything on the annealed instrument is the same as it was when it went out there. The instrument is even more or less in tune. Um, I went ahead and I put the annealed instrument in my car and let it hang out there for the rest of the day. And it, it didn't hit the same temperatures as it did in direct sunlight. Uh, but again, being in the car in the hot sun had no ill effect on the instrument. Annealing works. This modular fiddle built up with Protopox's high temperature carbon fiber filament after annealing holds up great in a hot car, sitting out in the sun, so I'm going to be traveling with this instrument and feel way more comfortable knowing that it can hold up to pretty much whatever environment I can think of. So thank you for watching. Thanks, big thanks to Protopasta for their support.